Hi everyone, I'm David Wilcox, the program leader for Fedora with Lyrasys, uh, and I'm joined here by Andrew Woods and Danny Bernstein, uh, also with Lyrasys, uh, and Scott Prater uh, from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, so we just wrapped up the second Fedora 6 sprint, which ran from November 4th to 15th. Uh, we had 11 participants from across the Fedora community, and I'm just going to share the uh, list of participants with you. Uh, so this was a, a really great team. Uh, each member contributed actually to both Fedora 6 sprints uh, that we uh, just ran. So this sprint uh, had two primary objectives. The first was to implement basic resource management for containers using the Oxford Common File layout. And the second uh, was to update the migration utility to support a basic Fedora 3 to Fedora 6 data conversion in order to lower the barrier to migration. So the first goal has been mostly accomplished, though there are a few outstanding issues uh, that will be resolved in the coming weeks. And the team expects that we'll have a testable early version of the software with this functionality included uh, available before the end of the year. The second goal uh, is now complete. So we do have an updated version of uh, migration utils, uh, which is now available for testing and has in fact already been validated against several sample data sets. So the tool represents a really great opportunity to see what Fedora 3 data will look like once it's been transformed to an OCFL compatible format. And so now Scott is going to run through a brief demo of the migration utils to demonstrate how it works. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to run through a uh, brief uh, uh, demo. I'm going to show how to use the migration utils. Uh, one thing I want to note is that the migration utilities must be run on the same host as either your Fedora repository or where you have your uh, data exported to. That's because the migration utility reads from the file system um, and not from the Fedora web service. So make sure that you have it installed in the same place. You also want to shut down your Fedora repository, and we'll do that right now. The reason for that is simply to make sure that uh, everything is in sync when you're doing the migration. I do want to note that the migration utility will never ever write to your source Fedora 3 repository. It just reads from it. But to make sure that nothing gets uh, lost along the way, we just shut it down. <clears throat> Let me uh, go ahead and run the help and I will uh, show you uh, what the different options are. I'm just going to call out here the ones that I'm going to use. The source type, basically, that can be Kubra, Legacy, or Exported. That's basically your Fedora um, three objects on a file system. It could either be the Kubra file system, Legacy file system, or you can export the objects yourself and migrate those. If you're using the file systems, you'll need to specify your data streams directory and your objects directory. Then your target directory is where your OCFL archive is going to be written to. You'll also need to specify the layout, and the choices are flat, pear tree, and truncated. This is the OCFL um, uh, uh, archive layout, and you can look at the OCFL specification to see more about those. I'm going to go with the flat one. And then finally, you have the option of either ex uh, migrating your entire repository or just certain objects within your repository. If you only want to migrate a subset of uh, objects in your repository, put the PIDs of the things you want to migrate into a PID file, and then the migration utility will read that file. And so I'm going to go ahead and create a PID file and uh, migrate one test object that I've created. <clears throat> so the test object that I've created has a, a mix of uh, data streams in it, ones that have been at, uh, updated. Uh, one that is only metadata updated, uh, one that's been purged, and one that was added later. So first thing I'll do is uh, create uh, my PID file. And there, now I have that done. It's the test migration object. And now we'll run the export with the options that I uh, mentioned earlier. And it's running, and it's done. That's the export, um, pretty simple. Uh, now I'm going to start up my Fedora again, and you'll want to do that, of course. Also, uh, in order to compare what was uh, run to OCFL with your uh, current Fedora 3 object. <clears throat> and then uh, let's take a look and see what we have in OCFL. So 
looking at my OCFL uh, tree, I see that I have an OCFL repository with this Namaste file indicating that that's an OCFL repository. Then within it, I have the one object, the one that I migrated. I have the Namaste file within that directory indicating this is an OCFL object. And then I have my versions. Version one will always be the object creation version. And that's when your D the object's created, when you have your DC object, uh, a DC data stream created, your audit data stream created. The next versions are when you're going to be adding and updating other data streams. So we'll see in version two, I added a test one data stream. In version three, I added a test two data stream. In version four, I updated the contents of my test one data stream. In version five, I just updated the metadata about the test two data stream. And in version six, I added a test four data stream. You'll notice there's no test three data stream here. That's because I purged it back in the Fedora three days. If you wanna see that event, you're gonna to have to take a look at the audit data stream and it'll be recorded the purge there. So that is basically what the um, OCFL directory looks like. This is what Fedora 6 will be reading and writing to, the structure in these files. And there'll be a longer version of this uh, demo forthcoming. And with that, uh, I'll turn it over to Danny Bernstein. Thank you. OK. <clears throat> well, thank you, Scott, for this Fedora 3 to 6 migration demo. Um, I'll just briefly mention sort of our plan for the coming year. Um, we will be, in the very short term, we'll be presenting a Fedora 6 webinar next week. It's free, but you'll have to register if you haven't already. And uh, the details uh, for this event are included in the announcement of this demo. Uh, we'll be looking to do two sprints in the first uh, two quarters of 2020. Uh, we have a doodle poll out uh, to the community, which we will hopefully close before the end of the year. Um, so if you're interested in joining, please uh, let us know. We'd love to have you. Uh, in the meantime, we will continue to move the code base forward in the inter-sprint periods. Um, and uh, especially in the near term, we'll uh, be on the lookout for short video demonstrations like this. Uh, and we'll be featuring uh, the CRUD features, the create, read, update, and delete uh, features as things move along. So thank you. Um, thank you for your time and attention, and we're looking forward to sharing our progress over the next few weeks and months. Um, just to note that if you have Fedora 3 data and you're planning to do a migration, and you're planning to migrate to Fedora 6, eventually, please take a moment to try out the tool. Our work will benefit from your feedback. Thank you very much.